हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच इज नोन एज सीरीज सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस सो वी विल हैव ए शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी फॉर दिस टॉपिक ऑफ सीरीज सॉल्यूशंस सो फर्स्ट टर्मिनोलॉजी व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड इज आइडिया ऑफ पावर सीरीज Uh, we have already discussed the chapter of power series in mathematics 1 course so if you have not seen that topic of power series you can visit the playlist of mathematics 1 oblique calculus and you can clear your concepts about power series so as we are familiar a power series is a series of this form a0 plus a1 times x minus x0 प्लस ए टू टाइम्स एक्स माइनस एक्स जीरो स्क्वेर प्लस ए थ्री टाइम्स एक्स माइनस एक्स जीरो क्यूब एंड सो वन हियर वी कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट वी आर कंसिडरिंग पावर्स ऑफ एक्स माइनस एक्स जीरो वेर एक्स जीरो इज ए फिक्स रियल नंबर एंड एक्स इज ए वेरिएबल एंड दिस वी कैन ब्रीफली राइट इन सिग्मा नोटेशन एज सिग्मा ए एन एक्स माइनस एक्स जीरो टू दी पावर एन रेंज ऑफ एन इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी सो दिस एक्स जीरो इज कॉल्ड सेंटर ऑफ द पावर सीरीज एंड हियर वी आर टेकिंग पावर्स ऑफ एक्स माइनस एक्स जीरो सो इट इज नोन एज पावर सीरीज इन पावर्स ऑफ एक्स माइनस एक्स जीरो और वी कैन से दैट पावर सीरीज विथ सेंटर एक्स जीरो और वी कैन से दैट पावर सीरीज अबाउट पॉइंट एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स जीरो एक्स जीरो इज ए फिक्स रियल नंबर एंड वी नो दैट फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स वी विल हैव डिफरेंट नंबर सीरीज फ्रॉम दिस पावर सीरीज सो दिस इज नॉट ओनली वन सीरीज हियर एक्स इज वेरिएबल सो फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स वी विल हैव डिफरेंट सीरीज ऑफ नंबर्स एंड दिस सीरीज कंटेंट्स पावर्स ऑफ एक्स माइनस एक्स जीरो देर फॉर इट इज गिवन द नेम एज पावर सीरीज we have discussed about convergence and radians of convergence of power series in mathematics 1 course so we are not going into those details but uh, simply uh, we can say that the interval for the interval say ab says that for values of x in that interval the series is convergent and values of x outside that interval series is divergent that interval is called interval of convergence of the power series simply interval of convergence means the set of values of x for which this power series is convergent and the length of that interval is known as radius of convergence of the power series if you want to go in detail for this concepts you visit mathematics 1 playlist you will have a detailed introduction about power series for this topic we just require the basic idea of power series now this x0 is called center of the power series it is a fixed real number for different values of x0 we will have different power series with different centers suppose we consider x0 equal to 0 here then this power series will reduce to this power series a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube and so on so this is power series with center x0 equal to 0 and here we can see we are having powers of x only therefore it is known as power series in powers of x also so power series in powers of x means center is 0 now another important power series is taylor series so uh, we have already discussed about taylor series in mathematics 1 playlist all these concepts are in the topic of um, sequence and series power series and taylor and maclaurian series so if you want to go for brief uh, long details you can visit mathematics 1 playlist taylor series is uh, defined for those type of functions which are having derivatives of any order or we are uh, 
uh, able to find out Taylor series of a function f x, which is infinitely differentiable in some neighborhood of some fixed point. So, Taylor series of a function f x, which is differentiable infinite number of times in an interval containing the point x equal to x zero, is given by f of x zero, that is value of given function at given point x zero plus first derivative at x zero into x minus x zero plus second derivative at x zero divided by two factorial into square of x minus x zero and so on and we can write in sigma notation in this way this is special type of power series in which coefficients are derivatives of function fx at center x zero so this series is called taylor series of function fx and if we consider center equal to 0 we will have maclaurian series f of 0 plus f dash 0 times x plus f double dash 0 divided by 2 factorial times x square and so on this is called taylor series in powers of x or maclaurian series or taylor series with center 0 so uh, we can represent a function fx satisfying certain conditions in terms of this type of power series and uh, these two are equal at those values of x for which this power series is convergent that is they are equal inside the interval of convergence now we require this uh, concept of taylor series to define analytic function suppose i have some real function fx then I want to define that when this real function fx is called analytic at a given point x0. So, if I want to decide that given function fx is analytic at a given point x0, then this definition says that if Taylor series of fx at point x0 exists, that is, we can uh, decide the Taylor series of fx at point x0 and Taylor series of fx at point x0 is given by this uh, x minus x0 raised to n. This is Taylor series of fx at point x0. So, function f is said to be analytic at a point x0 if its Taylor series exists at point x0 and it is conversion to fx inside the interval of convergence. So, if this happens then we can say that function fx is analytic. They can ask you the definition of analytic function a real function fx defined on an interval containing the point x equal to x0 is called analytic at x0 if its Taylor series exists and converges to fx for all x in the interval of convergence of above Taylor series. Interval of convergence means the values set of values of x at which this series is convergent. So, at those values of x, this Taylor series is equal to value of function f at point x. So, if this happens, then we can say that function fx is said to be analytic at a point x0. In short, given function is analytic at a given point x0 if we can represent it by power series and that power series is Taylor series of fx in powers of x minus x0. So, if our function can be represented by power series then we can say that function fx is analytic at point x0 and uh, you might have seen in your calculus or mathematics 1 course that we know that uh, if we have exponential function e raised to x and if we consider center equal to 0 then uh, Taylor series of e raised to x at x0 equal to 0 is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial and so on 
and this series is convergent for all x. So we know that e raised to x can be represented by Maclaurin series or Taylor series with center x0 equal to 0 and uh, this series is convergent for all x. Therefore, we can say that this e raised to x is convergent is uh, analytic at x0 equal to 0. Similarly, if we take any real number x0, then we know that e raised to x can, can have a uh, Taylor series at any point x0 and the radius of convergence will be infinite. So, this e raised to x function is analytic everywhere or analytic at every point x0 that is the idea of analytic function similarly we know that uh, sin x function can be represented by maclaurin series so sin x is also analytic at x0 equal to 0 or uh, it, we can show that it is analytic at every point x0 S similarly cos x is also analytic at every point x0 if we consider polynomial function say a0 plus a1x plus a2x square and so on if we take any polynomial function say fx real polynomial function then we know that this polynomial function fx can be represented in powers of any x minus x0 we can always represent this polynomial function in power series and this power series will be having finite number of terms because derivatives will be zero after some order so every polynomial function can be represented by power series and uh, therefore every polynomial function is analytic everywhere polynomial functions are those candidates which are analytic everywhere suppose i have division of polynomials suppose i consider these two polynomials uh, x plus 1 and i divide it by x square minus 3 x plus 2 then i will obtain rational function say r of x so rational function is analytic everywhere except those points at which denominator is 0 so we have to decide the solution of x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 and the points at which this polynomial is 0 this function is not analytic at those points only so every polynomial is analytic at every point and if i have division of polynomials that is if i have rational function then rational function is analytic at every point for which denominator is non-zero. So remember these two things mainly we will require that polynomials are analytic at every point or polynomials are analytic everywhere. Polynomials are analytic at every point x0 and rational functions means division of polynomials are analytic suppose i consider two polynomials px and qx so rational functions say r of x equal to px over qx these functions are division of polynomials and they are analytic at every point x0 such that value of this qx at that point is non-zero. So we will be mainly requiring these two things. Remember that polynomials are analytic at every point, rational functions are analytic at every point x0 for which denominator is non-zero. And using this uh, analytic function, we will be able to go further for this uh, series solutions of differential equations. So we will discuss uh, about ordinary and singular points in upcoming lecture 
and after that we will discuss how to obtain these series solutions or differential equations so in upcoming lecture we will discuss about ordinary and singular points of given differential equation so in this lecture we have just uh, uh, introduced power series or taylor series and we have defined what is meaning of analytic function using that uh, power series and uh, this we will remember all polynomial functions e raised to x sin x cos x hyperbolic sin x cos hyperbolic x are analytic everywhere a rational function is analytic except at those values of x at which its denominator is zero and uh, this we have discussed that if we consider solution of this polynomial x square minus 3x plus 2 then this is 0 if x equal to 1 and x equal to 2. Therefore, this rational function is analytic everywhere except 1 and 2. Okay, fine. So, thanks for watching.